Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Whole Hog Brewery, and they are based out of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And this is their pumpkin ale, brewed with pumpkin and spices. The label is falling off. Full disclosure, I have had this many times before. First time reviewing on this channel. Um, this is indeed one of my probably top five, if not top three, uh, favorite pumpkin beers. It's a great, great beer. Uh, let's see, what is the ABV? Oh, sure, it's ripped right on there, but this is 7% ABV. As I said, it's brewed with pumpkin and spices. And that's all we are going to get. From the bottle here whole hog next level brews before I bust it open uh, I wanted to be able to like truly showcase this glass <laughs> this is second or third time doing this but uh, not into this level um, this was hand crafted and uh, created for me by a glass blower named Ryan Palmer I got to choose the coloration um, as well. I wanted like that black kind of outline over top of the colors. Same thing down on the base here. Beautiful, beautiful work. He does some real amazing work. And then he also, you know, said what kind of a stem. And then he asked me all the different. Oh, that's not going to work. Maybe if I do it that way. He gave me different options for this stem, which is really, really neat. So again, I will put a link to his Instagram page uh, in the description below, if you're interested. All right, let's bust this open. We got some smoke coming out there. Oh yeah, looking nice. I did just polish this glass, but still have a little bit of Dirty Glass Mafia on here. Anyway, um, that pours out a light brown with a slight orange tinge coloration. Uh, the head, there was about half a finger of tan I would say soap sudsy head, which has since dissipated. There's a little bit around the rim. And I have some floaties in there as well. Let's see if I could show you that. Yeah, actually, I think you can see the some of the floaties in there. Yep. And a lot of carbonation. While it doesn't have any head retention, there's a lot of carbonation there. It's a lively one. All right, let's get a whiff. Yep, that's what I remember. It's a uh, pumpkin pie filling in a glass. Mm. You're getting like pumpkin, actual gourd, like pumpkin puree, uh, a touch of like vanilla, and then I'm getting cinnamon and nutmeg. And there's some sweetness to it. I don't know if it's the maltiness. Um, Mm, but definitely, I swear, I always get brown sugar. Um, I don't know if I went on untapped if they would say what they actually use or not, but I always seem to get brown sugar. Oh, and it, it's also like I'm getting crust, like pie crust as well. Um, 
it's similar to a graham cracker crust, but also it's got hints of just a regular pie crust. That nice, buttery, flaky pie crust. Yeah, I would say on the nose, it's like a regular pie crust. Flaky apple pie crust. Mm, homemade, just like grandma used to make. All right, diving in, cheers. Yep. <laughs> Medium body. I'm going to say moderately carbonated, but it's it, it's getting up there for sure. It's it's very effervescent um, and spritzy on the tongue for sure. Yeah, in terms of the flavor, I can say this and end the entire video and say it's pumpkin pie with the filling, the crust, and a dollop of whipped cream on top. And that's the end of the video. <laughs> but in honesty, you're getting a pumpkin gourdy flavor up front and it's like that pumpkin puree then you're getting the spices you're getting the cinnamon you're getting the nutmeg I think I'm getting a little bit of clove as well I'm also getting like a, a touch of sweet brown sugar not a lot it's not overly sweet at all You're getting, I used to, I know I used to say I, I would get a graham cracker crust, and I guess that's because of the brown sugar I was getting along with the cinnamon. It's like a graham cracker crust. I don't know. Maybe it's different this year, or it's just my palate is different. I'm getting like actual normal <laughs> pie crust, like apple pie crust. Um, I guess you have that with normal pumpkin pie as well. It's a nice smooth, um, subtle finish. Slight uh, touch of sourness on the, 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 the end because of the, you're getting that base ale coming through it's a great beer highly if you like pumpkin beers I would highly recommend this one it's got a nice balance of the Gordy pumpkin along with uh, the spices neither one is too overpowering it's not overly sweet I know some people say uh, Southern Tears pumpkin is too sweet uh, I find this very similar to pumpkin, but dialed back on the sweetness. Yeah, this is a great beer. I look forward to this every year. Hope I can continue to get it every year as well. Um, with certain bottle shops closing nowadays, I question. All right, that's it for this. So, Whole Hog Brewing Company, their pumpkin ale. I am going to give this a 4.75 out of 5. This is definitely, uh, now I'm going to say probably top two pumpkin beers for me thus far. I'm not done yet, but... Anyway, that's it for this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know, have you had whole hog before, and have you had their pumpkin ale? What did you think of it? Until next time, peace.